Welcome back guys. Uh, on this video I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I forgot to turn my microphone on. But we are tuning Hans car. Uh, this is a 2012 GSR I believe. Um, he's had some issues with it. He brought it over all the way from Minnesota. We're doing a flex field too, but it's a beautiful car. Um, he takes care of it. Does have a little bit of a build. Um, and then you know he daily drives it and he's basically having issues with the tune that uh, he wants to get a retune now he has a non-sleeved uh, Cali rod stock crank with uh, S2 cams he has a Garrett's 3576 with I believe 18 pounds or 17 pounds wastegate but I know the wastegate's an issue dual clutch three and a half inch intake um, with ID 1300 CC injectors um, you know in a single Wobble 450 which works in this setup and today we are going to be doing flex field tuning he brought the car over he was running 85 but he brought the car over um, on 93 so that should be good so we're gonna start tuning the 93 first as expected um, and he's running like 27 but then right after 6k it just falls on his face like it just goes to like 22 psi so that's that's gonna be an issue he has no leaks um, so we're gonna try to fix that Just dialing in the fuel, um, same boost, same everything as before. It's doing a little better. Car feels uh, a little bit better in the mid range, but you know it is what it is. I keep noticing that boost falling real hard, so I'm gonna try to you know see what we can do about it. to rev it out all the way on this one to see the efficiency of both the head and the turbo and the correlation um, and also fixing the fuel for the higher RPM range.
he does have the MyVec delete for the exhaust side, so I'm limited to the limited to the intake. Um, but it, it looks like the efficiency of his setup at this boost level and this um, fuel is not above well that much above 7,500 RPMs. Um, obviously, with the higher boost, when I do switch fuel, I am going to test that limit a little bit more. So this is our final number on 91 octane. It is not 93 and we're going to switch over to E85. This is our first run on E85 and um, it's okay but we need to smooth it out a little bit. There was a little bit of backfiring on low end um, but it's a bit more efficient when it comes to RPM versus boost and um, fueling on this uh, boost level and this uh, fuel. This is at peak is around 30, 29 PSI, but then again, maintaining the boost is getting to be a difficult challenge here, um, and it's dropping to like 25, 24, right after 6,000 RPMs. Feeling is good, so I'm going to keep working on that. So this is on, again, 30 PSI, I'm not able to kind of cross that limit um, without running 100% wastegate duty cycle. And then even up top, I'm at 80, 90% wastegate duty and I'm still getting like 25, 26 and there aren't any leaks we checked. So this is his final number on E85. And this is a comparison between his 93 and E85. The customer did let us know on the same setup, but with a three inch intake, he made like mid 400s on E85. And it goes to show that there's something off, meaning it should be making more power. It's either his cams or maybe his turbo is out of breath and is going out. I have no clue. Um, he, it's something that we got to work on. It could be even the wastegate that he's got on. But the same setup, if you check my other videos, we make 600 or near, and some of the cars actually make more than that. Um, so there's definitely, you know, a part issue or something here in this setup. We did not put this car together. We're just tuning it. We did advise the client, you know, let's start with the waste kit if you really want, but ultimately your car is built. If you really are looking for a really good power, um, you know, we suggest a bigger turbo. We're going to do like a first gear, second gear here, and then we're going to do a third gear on the long road. Yeah, that's 
that's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't feel it when it pushes me back. Yeah, yeah fuck it. <laughs> I think this is, it's enough. Once I get used to it, I come back for more. Yeah. 